So this is my everyday hair and makeup. Welcome to my channel, Australian Women's Life and Style. I'm going to show you how I get my everyday glam makeup and hair. I, the most questions I get on Instagram especially is how do you do your hair, how do you do your makeup? So in today's video, I'm going to do my everyday hair and makeup right from the start to the end. It's going to be a long video, so get yourself a champagne or a coffee or a juice or something nice. Sit down and relax and I'm going to go through and tell you all my tips and tricks. <laughs> And please don't be scared. The next, the next, the next segment's gonna start with no makeup. So just be, prepare yourself. <laughs> so here it is. Today you're going to see how I do my makeup with imperfect skin. You can see all my scarring. I had my, I was my monthly, and I definitely had a big breakout again. <laughs> Got one here as well. So you'll definitely see how I cover that up. I just thought, I kept thinking, oh, I might wait until my skin is all healed before I do another makeup tutorial. And then I thought, you know what? I've got to show how I how I cover things because none of us are perfect. <laughs> Definitely got little tips and tricks to hide scarring and pigmentation and that type of thing. Also, if you didn't know, I am 49 years old. So I've got, I thought, I've got to stop beating myself up, you know, like I'm 49. It is what it is. I accept myself and I share myself. <laughs> Especially after the haul that you would have seen earlier today. I actually showed you this product here, which is the Bondi Boost Alexa Hair Oil. And I used this last night. I covered my hair in oil, put it in a bun, and I slept in it overnight. Then this morning I got up and I washed my hair as normal. And my hair feels so, so soft. It really does help with the condition of your hair. As I told you last week, I also take their hair growth support vitamins and I really do see a big difference in my hair when I take these. Other things that I use to give my hair lots of volume because I do actually have naturally straight, I'd say fluffy hair. <laughs> it's not dead straight and soft. It used to be when I had dyed my hair black or dark brown, my hair used to be so silky, so soft, it was just so hydrated. I think when you have really dark hair and you take, because it's not as damaged as when you get highlights, um, my hair just used to dry straight and just be perfect. So I loved it when it was dark. But because I'm allergic to hair dye now, I do need to put highlights in my hair to hide the greys. And I do think it does suit me more being a bit lighter anyway, now that I'm nearly 50, <laughs> to get my hair nice and volumized. So I love this color wow. It's the Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. Magically transforms texture, amazing humidity proofing powers. So this one here you use in your hair every say two to three washes. You don't need to use it every single time. So I'm actually not going to spray this in my hair today because I didn't need it because I did it last time. Really do love also the extra large bombshell volumizer and that's from the Color Wow as well. You can get this from David Jones. You can get it from Hair, hair House Warehouse. <laughs> so I just get a nice sort of like blob and usually I turn my head upside down for it, but because we're here, I just sort of really like put it where the roots are of my hair and that just sort of let it go down to the end. And then I also really like this product here, which is the Matrix Total Results Miracle Creator. This one here. I, I really like this as well. So I'm just going to spray that through the ends just to protect my hair from the heating as well. And it's a multitasking treatment that has 20 beautifying benefits for your hair. So I do all of that and then I just sort of comb it through and I do use like a wide tooth comb. And then I do blast my hair with my Dyson hair dryer, which is fantastic. So So I just thought I'd mention I blast dry my hair just like crazy, like pushing it everywhere, every which way to try and get the volume up the top here. If I was to do sections of my hair and sort of with a brush and straighten it out and brush it down like this, <laughs> it actually doesn't hold the curl for me. So I really kind of need it to be in this rough texture for it to hold my curl. So I kind of do this, like I... I'll push it forward, I get to the back, <laughs> I look a bit like Cousin It, <laughs> but I let it kind of cool like that as well because I want the, 
I want my bangs to kind of come forward and I even blast it with the cool, the cold air option. And then I kind of flip it back and then I get so much volume at the roots, even though my hair is very fluffy and crazy, but it's more about getting the volume through my hair because my hair is actually quite fine because I have a thyroid condition called Hashimoto. It's an autoimmune disease. And for me, I have symptoms of like an underactive thyroid. So I do lose lots of hair. I lose my eyebrows and my lashes. And I'll talk to you about that as I do my makeup. Um, my nails are very weak. So I do, do take all these vitamins and things to help that. These products here are amazing and have definitely given me that extra volume. This one here is so good in this humidity that we've been having lately. I know it's like we're supposed to be this weekend, we're in autumn, but it's 40 degrees tomorrow and in the late 30s here in Sydney today. So definitely not in autumn weather yet, um, but these two products really help. I also really love the Lorenzo thermal argan oil as well as a finishing product and I just sort of let that sit for a minute as I do my skincare. What I'll do is put my foundation on now. My hair is nearly 100% dry. I can kind of feel a little bit underneath. It's a bit damp so I will finish that off in a minute. I am obsessed with the double wear Estee Lauder double wear. It is the best. This is my one that I've just about finished. Look how disgusting it is and this is my new one that I showed you here. Oh hang on. <laughs> You hear that there? So I've got my brand new one ready to go. But I love this stuff. It is the best foundation, honestly, that I've ever used. Everything else I've just stopped using since I've started using this. It just makes my skin look airbrushed. It stays in place. It doesn't move in my wrinkles. And if I if it's hot and I'm, it's it's sweat proof, humidity proof, um, waterproof, it is so so good. I've got it on my fingers here. I do use my fingers to apply it and then I use a beauty blender to sort of just pat it out. I'll show you as I go but as you can see I've got it there. Now what I do, I don't use a primer. I never have. I don't really like them. I don't like I haven't found one that I like anyway. And being a makeup artist in the 90s, we didn't have primers and we did makeup beautifully. <laughs> so I think I just sort of think, mm, I don't know, it doesn't really work for me. <laughs> I know I look crazy, but I actually bring it up under my eyes to my hairline and then all the way down my neck, down to like where my necklace is. And then depending what I decide to wear, I will then put it on my chest. If I don't need to put it on my chest, if I'm wearing something, um, <laughs> sorry, I look crazy. I always put my foundation on first because I know some people like to put their concealer on first, but I think there's no point in putting extra layers on your face if you don't need it. Uh, so I do like a thin layer of Teddy. I do a thin layer of foundation, a little bit more on in the center of my face. And I also use the color 3N1 Ivory Beige. I love it. And with this foundation, it does oxidize. These I'm really like <laughs> getting to the end. It does oxidize, so it does d deepen a little bit. So now I'll just sort of use a bit more around my nose. I'll cover that spot that I had here. And I will put a bit more over my scars here. And then the leftovers on my hands, I will just like get it there onto my chest and try not to get it on my clothes. This is so cute, this little top. I've shown you this before. It's one of the active wear ones that you can put your thumbs in from Kmart. I love it. I've got it in black and, and a white as well. I've got a few colors. Little beauty sponge and I get these from Kmart. Here I have, like I've actually thrown it into them into a laundry bag and I just wash them in. <laughs> in the washing machine and then they come out nice and see how nice and spongy and soft they are and they clean them perfectly oh well pretty perfectly i actually put some dishwashing detergent in with them and then i throw them in the wash so good they always come out great now i'm just going to because i've used my fingers it's a pretty good application but now i just sort of gently go over it like this 
under my eyes. It takes away any of the sweeping kind of marks. That's why I don't actually like brushes personally to do my foundation. I like my skin to look like skin, if you know what I mean. This to me makes a bit of an airbrushed finish, which I really like. Normally a lot of like younger influencers would say to powder your face now. I'm going to say do not powder your face until the end, okay? We want the foundation just to, to set and to dry because as we get older, if you were to put powder on right now, it's just going to go that crepey kind of feeling, especially around your eyes. Um, I just let, let the foundation fully set and you do, can do your concealer now if you like. I love the Tarte Shape Tape. It's my absolute favourite and I use the colour Light Medium under my eyes. Now I will only put it just where the hollows are under my eyes I don't sweep it everywhere I don't do this thing where they you know they've got a line here and a line there if you don't need it there you don't want to put it there especially after 40 even when you're younger you only put it where you actually need it where the darkness is see where that sort of shine is there I'm just going to put it a little bit here and here that's it and then I'll get my beauty blender And just blend that right up into the corner down the nose and and up that is all i need okay so i might put on some lips just so i don't look completely crazy right now um, i'm so happy with the lash lift i told you guys i got a lash lift last week and it's really made such a difference especially once i put mascara on and my eyebrows are definitely i I didn't get them tinted at the at the salon because we were a bit worried whether I'd have an allergic reaction to the hair dye. But I did use the I actually dye my own roots. I brush very carefully with one of these just into my eyebrows, the same colour that I put on my roots, and that tends to work really well for me. So my favourite lip liner is Mac Saw. I really I go between Mac Saw and spice spice is really beautiful as well for more of a neutral sort of nudie color i really love saw as well so i'm just going to overline the top of my lips and overline just under here and then that gives me the look of having lip injections when i don't so and you kind of want to bring it down so you sort of go above here and then kind of out and then bring it back in otherwise you can make your lips look like they're going down I hope that makes sense so and I kind of cut it in there but I like them to be full there and then I always kind of do the Angelina Jolie like a little line here and a little line here because her her lips have a natural um, plumpness to them and you can kind of give that illusion with your lip pencil and then for here I'm going to cut it in from here and then go underneath here I hope you can see that because <laughs> I need to look in the mirror at the same time and then in the middle I just do like a little line here And that kind of gives the illusion of my lips being super plump. Aldi has these little cute Vaselines here. And I do like to just put a little bit of that in the center. Just while we're sitting here before I put my... Uh, normally I wouldn't do my lips until the end. <laughs> but I don't want to look too crazy while we're doing this. I want to do the curls of my hair now because I'm going to do them super curly. I want them then to cool as I'm doing the rest of my makeup. I use the GHD, my straightener. I take quite small sections, probably like that much, and I comb it out. I get my GHD. I put it upside down at the roots, and then I'm going to curl it like curling ribbon. And I flick it through, and then you get these like ringlets. And I just keep doing that all the way around. So I'm going down and we're going 
away from the face. And that just curls your hair. The front piece, I do like to go towards my face. That's just a personal preference. Um, they do always say to kind of do it all the same way. But I like that because I like it to kind of cover that part of my face. My jawline is not the strongest, so I do like to sort of have the hair there to kind of um, help shape my jaw. And that's the way I like it. Leave it like this and we're going to let it cool to the end. I do give it, hit it with some hairspray. I really love the Final Net hairspray that looks like this. It's really affordable. It doesn't make your hair too crunchy, but it will really hold these curls. <laughs> okay, now for the top of my hair, part it whichever way you want to do it. If you want to do it on the side, or I always do a middle part. It just suits my face shape better. And lucky I've got long nails. <laughs> and for the top of my hair, I do kind of go over the roots a couple of times. I do find with the color wow, it is activated by heat as well. And then I just roll it around. And then again, I just sort of go over the roots a few times and then I can't wait for these pieces to get really long. I've been trying to grow them out for some time. So I have all one length hair. So I've got that really long lob kind of bob look. Um, but it just doesn't end up happening for me. every Because I always get the highlights in the front and all the damage is in the front. So, you know, although it gives me some volume anyway but like to kind of again go at least three times to sort of straighten that top part and then I bring it down I do it a little differently I start the curl about halfway and we get it about there then I get these little clips while it's still hot from Kmart they're only a couple of dollars now I want to get this into place I kind of put it about there so then it will kind of give me the curtain bang look that I'm after and then I do the same thing on the other side that's why I do the foundation before I curl my hair because that's all sort of done underneath now that my foundation has now fully set as well my favorite it's the translucent loose powder from Laura Mercier <laughs> and I get that from uh, Mecca and I just, whatever's in the lid, just a tiny little bit, I hardly use any powder. And I will just set, there we go, just sit on my forehead. And I'm still going to leave everything else until the end. Now I'm going to take my bronzer. The one that I really love is the NARS Laguna bronzer, which I've used forever. Sorry how disgusting and dirty my makeup is, but that's just life. I'm not going <laughs> to clean it up and pretend I'm perfect because I'm definitely not. Um, but this is a gorgeous set. This is the Laguna bronzer and the Orgasm blush. These two are pretty uh, an everyday favorite and it lasts forever. Get this from Mecca. They don't always have the set available. Sometimes you do have to buy them in separate um, things. If they've got it though, I highly recommend getting it. It's a really lovely color for summer when I'm a bit darker. I get a brush that's like this. Sorry, again, it's very dirty, but that's because I use it every day. <laughs> and what I do is I, I go into here and I love these angled style brushes, as you can see like that, because it really hugs your cheek your cheekbone. Now, the trick as you get older is to keep everything high. Don't bring it down here. Um, I, I know a lot of the, you know, you see all these young 20-year-olds doing their contouring and everything and they do it all very you know quite low and as we age we want everything up 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 lifted so on your cheek i go like right up here i kind of do it on my cheekbone then like on my cheek on top because the color will blur to the line that you need it to bring it up now, as you notice, I've only put it into the pan once and that's given me some really good color. And then I'm just going to bring it high on the apple of my cheek, more up here. 
just so it doesn't drag my face down here. I've got quite a thin pointy nose. Now this is going to depend on what your nose looks like. For me, if I did the two lines and um, contour it out like a lot of people do, that would actually make me look like Michael Jackson. <laughs> like it wouldn't, I've got a very thin sort of pointy little turned up kind of nose already. So I don't need to do that type of contouring. For me, I just again get my blush brush and I like to look like the sun, like I've been sun kissed. So I keep the tip of my nose light and I will put the brush right on the bridge of my nose. Just like that. So it still gives a little highlight at the tip of my nose, keeping it looking turned up. Now I'm going to take my orgasm blush. It always makes me giggle. I can't help it. It does give you that glow that you want. So into there. And this time I'm using more of a flat brush. Now these brushes are from Morphe. You can get like a brush set from, uh, Mecca, from Mecca. And they're really great brushes. Um, I've got the Jeffree Star ones. I've got ones that I've, I mean, I've got brushes from all different places. The one set that I do want to get is the Ariel set, which is Kim Kardashian and the Kardashian's makeup artist. He's done a beautiful set um, at the moment. I think they're about $150 if you're looking for a really nice brush set. Um, but here what I'm going to do, because it's like on a flat, I hope you can see that. It's sort of wide there, but flat, flatter on the side. Now I'm going to put the blush up quite high. Now this is his technique as well right up sort of just under the eye here, right on top of the cheek. I also like to put a little bit on the tip bridge of my nose, just a little bit, whatever's left on the brush. And that just sort of, you can see, gives that bit of glow. It's a slight bit of pink to it as well. And it's sort of, a, it's even got a peach in it, like a peachiness gold reflect to it. It's really lovely. Just bringing it a little bit on the apples of the cheeks and whatever's left on my nose. That's how I like to look at it. It kind of gives you that youthful, been in the sun, glowy kind of look. That's what, this is what I do every day for work or if I'm, if I'm filming. With filming, sometimes I'll define my eyes differently, but today I wanted to sort of show you an everyday look. I'm just going to get my Laura Mercier translucent powder now as well before I go to the eyes and just tap it in here and then get the lid and just kind of brush it off as well. And I'm just going to set my chin now that again the foundation has set now and it won't give me any crepey look. Also I'll put it here to not go into my smile lines. Now this foundation is so good it doesn't really move. It won't move into your into your art line like into your lines either. So once you sort of set it anyway, it'll it'll definitely stay where you put it. And that blush, even though I softly put it up, that's about that's all the powder that I use under my eyes. I don't go and put translucent powder all underneath. Oh no no no! If I did that, I'd look a hundred years old. Even just using the the bronzer and then that bit of blush that's flicked up as much as it has, I then get the Mac Fix Plus. And on the back of my beauty blender here, I'll just put like a drop of it here. I don't spray my face either with um, setting spray. I'll just let that sit there for a second. And then I'll just gently, just where the powder has been and it's creeping a little bit, I'll just put that, just that's it, just there. If I was, because I've got quite oily skin, if I was to spray that all over my face, within an hour, I'd look really shiny and greasy and I don't want to do that. Not for if I'm at work all day, I don't want to look like that. So I just do the setting powder just like that, just where there's a little bit of crepiness on my under eyes. Now we're going to do the eyes. I will start with my eyebrows today, just so I don't look so crazy. As you can see, I've got that spot here. And as much as it's covered, the, you can't do much about it when it's raised, you know, you've just got it. You could either, I could like put a little freckle onto it or, you know, try and hide it like that. It's like my scars as well. They're, where it divots in from acne, there's not much you can do. You can just try and blur it as much as you can, but don't, 
put tons and tons of concealer because that's just going to actually make it look more accentuated okay so i love 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 the anastasia beverly hills brow wears for my brows but i have run out and as i showed you in my haul i have got my new one which is from mecca and it is the universal brow pencil from billion dollar brows i've never used this before it's like one color and it, i think it just depends on how hard you push on it is how deep the color goes so i thought that's pretty cool i was going to give it a try it was cheaper it's like nearly half the price of a anastasia beverly hills one um, and i thought being that they all they do is brows um surely they're good so it's got a spoolie if you can see that there which is always so handy i'm just gonna brush them up and then it's a retractable pencil I'm just going to do a line right under my brows just like that and then i'm going to just do very fine little strokes this does seem a bit darker than what i would normally use we'll just brush that up but it's nice it went on really easily that was really easy to do so you can kind of see the difference there it helps so much when you tint your eyebrows <laughs> Especially when you're starting to go gray now I did this before I did the base color of my eyeshadow because I like to set my brows and because I've got dark hair I don't want them to be too prominent and too dark so I'll use a palette that you guys can still get because I love I've got a few different palettes that I love but some of them aren't available anymore we always love the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills it's amazing um, and I've got the modern renaissance and the soft glam palette Anastasia is my favorite it, it's got a lot of color payoff and it works really well so I'm just going into a base color it's actually called um if you've got the palettes you just want like a white or a cream or a skin color a flat brush like this and i've just got enough on there and i'm going to set my whole eyelid just make sure there's no foundation or anything in the crease here because whenever you put powder over anything wet it's going to make it stay the way it is I like a light, like a white for me, or a really light cream, just because it lightens up any darkness in my eyes. I also, this is the only time I powder under my eye, and I just do it. It's sort of like a magic eraser, so I've got the same light base. Now I'm going to put that here with the most of the colour, but with the little bit that's left, I'm just going to set just in there and that will really it highlights that area then just whatever's left on the brush over my brows just like that oh it's going dark it looks like it's going to storm today it's a little dome soft dome brush this is a jeffree star brush but i think you can buy these from i got it from morphe but it was before the big cancellation <laughs> for this part here you can either go into your bronzer if you've got a bronzer or just a medium brown matte color okay and if you've got the palettes, I'm sort of using burnt orange and orange soda. And I'm going to dip a little bit into Rustic. And sort of see where my, um, where the crease is here. Now, my eyes are going a little bit more, what's the word, um, hooded as I'm getting older. But to keep the illusion of it not is putting the brush right up onto the brow bone and kind of drawing a line right there now see instantly that makes my eye look compared to here gives me that um like a really lovely cut crease and that's what i do and i bring that in these brushes blend it for you they're so great and i bring it out this way here And I like to keep the lid light. There you go. You can see the difference there already. I've just put a new light on because it was just getting so dark outside. I think definitely a big storm's coming. 
but I don't bring it in here because I want to keep my eyes quite open depending at night time I do if I was doing a night look I'll bring it right in here and, and bring it right out but because today I want to do more of an everyday makeup and what I what I'd wear to work basically because then that's a bit more what you guys would want to wear then I'm going to get an angled brush like this you can see that there I hope now you can use black if you like or I really do like a chocolate like a dark brown or sometimes I'll go I'll dip in both I love to make my own colors I think that's the makeup artist in me um, but I'll sort of dip into the cypress umber and a bit into black which is just nice for every in the daytime um, at night time I would always use black no matter what um, but in the daytime it's also nice to sort of yeah not have it too full on but I'm a, definitely a glam girl I'm not a natural girl in any way shape or form we're going to use the angle brush and we're going to kind of stamp the liner along so I kind of do it with my eye open here so I do it there and by stamping it it doesn't flick down everywhere and you kind of then I just follow the lash line and then I keep that straight and I bring that up and then I'll go back down to the lash line again and then just sort of attach it just like that and you can see the difference in my eyes already <laughs> look how different they look <laughs> for the purposes of showing you this is really my signature everyday makeup I love it this is what I've been wearing for decades now don't stress if you don't get it exactly the same the eyes should be sisters not twins I match it best um, best that you can to look as similar as possible same with your eyebrows as well mine definitely don't look the same and they don't naturally either so I kind of just stick to the natural way that it looks and and highlight that and you can't go wrong really like if you want a natural look I would leave the eyeshadow here and I wouldn't add anything else uh, but I'm your glam girl and every single day I can't help it I just don't feel like I've done my makeup unless I've got some shimmer on my eyes and I love 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 the loose eye dust from Napoleon Purtis I've got them in all the colors like it's ridiculous I've got so many of them <laughs> lots and lots of them uh, if you aren't used to wearing makeup I'd probably steer clear from this one because this is like pretty full-on and I wear I, even though I don't care I wear it every day there is one called pink champagne it's not as intense as the one that I use every day it's like a pinky goldy color the one I really like is a bright gold I would say like it's a champagne gold is that would be the color and I get one of these little flat round brushes and I just get a little bit of the loose dust there and I start it in the corner of my eye like here and then I just bring it whatever's left up onto the lid and I only do it on that bit underneath the, the crease that we did and I like to sort of bring it just in that corner in that little tear trough tear duct area now if it was night time I'd even wet the brush and I would use it and make it really full-on with this I know a lot of people worry as they are over 40 that if you use a shimmer to me this the way that this is milled it's so fine it doesn't age you I think if anything my I feel like my eyelids stand out more when they're matte um and show the imperfections where this kind of hides the imperfections <laughs> i really love it again you don't need you could stop at that step but if you want to do it how i do and i get that little bit of gold that is what i use next up is mascara time and i love that because it just brings everything together but i thought just for the purpose of trying this out that's one of the things that i got for free from estee lauder it was a little gift with purchase so for me i like to go with my lashes i like to get the tip i go down first right at the tip of the lashes just like that and then i'll go from the root and bring it up geez this lash lift has just changed my life normally i would 
um, try to curl them and then every time I put the mascara on they just all fall down <laughs> and you can't see them which is why I was doing lash extensions for years and now that I've done the lash lift I highly recommend going and doing that guys if you've got straight lashes but how good oh that looks good wow well this mascara is great too so far so good Wow, yeah, that looks really good. Like, this really does give it a nice volumizing, but yeah, that looks really nice. I don't always do bottom lashes. If I'm in the daytime, sometimes I don't because I feel like it's just so, <laughs> um, especially with the lash lift, it really like opens up my eyes. So sometimes I don't put it, and like, you'll notice I haven't put any color underneath my eyes. That's because it all depends on the shape of your eye. I really like to give my eyes a bit of an almond look and bring them up. If I was to put, say, like this, um, the color that we put in the crease and then bring it all the way underneath my eye, you can actually see how I've got quite round eyes here. And then that, when I put that color underneath, it really accentuates that I've got round eyes. And I like that sort of arm and lifted shape. If you've got really small eyes, you definitely want to then bring that color underneath because it will make your eyes look really big. Um, and do the la and do your mascara on the bottom as well. It just depends on your features, which is why it's hard to do a blanketed makeup tutorial for everyone. What I like to do is do it in this corner here, not so much all the way along, but I will just get onto the. Yeah, just a little bit on the on the corners. If it was night time. I would do it all the way along and also love to put the black on the inside rim of my eye. I think you call it, what do, you, what do they call it? Um, <laughs> I can't think of what it's called, but yeah, see where I, I've got light here. I would bring the black all the way along and, and really line my eyes. But for daytime, this is all that I do. 24 hour brow setter. I really like that and I get it in the clear and I'll just comb now that I've finished my eyes, I'll comb my lashes, in, um, my, <laughs> I'll comb my brows into place. I don't do the whole surprised eyebrow look. Again, I like to keep things, you know, as natural as possible. I do like brushing them up a bit to make them look thicker, but not crazy, <laughs> like you've been surprised kind of look, like that trend that goes around. I try to steer away from trends. Just do what flatters your features. I'm waiting on my other color of this to show you, cause I'm gonna, to, um, to show you, cause it is my favorite color of the Kylie lip glosses and it's called Diva. Diva is like an everyday great gloss. I just don't have it as yet. Is the one that I was going to do for a night look, which I will show you in the coming weeks. We'll do the makeup again and I'll do a real dramatic sort of like more of a nighttime look. Uh, this is called Posy K, which is such a gorgeous dark pink. Um, again, for me, I'd only wear it at night time or if I was filming, I would use it because it gives me that pop of color that I need. But it is a gorgeous deep sort of pink I think there's a lot of women that love to wear like um you know like red or like a dark pink or a bright coral or something a bit brighter on the lips because my lips are still quite full if I do that in the daytime it's just like more lips are coming at you <laughs> so I like to still kind of keep it um, usually I'll just do exactly what I've got on which is the lip liner and then I use that clear gloss which I'll go and get actually I'll show you what I do this is what I do for work I love using the Lano lips it's the lip water liquid gold one that I love it does have sort of like a really slight gold shimmer the colors change it was clear but because I dip it and use it on my lip liner it's changed the actual color of the, the gloss but it has, a, it's got, got a minty taste and it really makes your lips nice and soft. So I just have that lip liner still on and I just do that. <laughs> I really like having glossy lips. I don't, I hate having matte lips. I think as we age, you do have to keep that into consideration. 
I think just depends if you've got um, lots of lines around your lips a matte color could be good because it won't bleed up into in, into your lines around your lips especially if you've been a smoker if you get those sort of lines in your lips um, otherwise I really like a gloss I like the feeling of having a gloss on my lips as well which is probably I don't know that's just what I like but I just love that glossy I think it's sexy I just like that look and I like how it really makes my teeth look white as well which I love um now this is probably a lot of makeup for any of my natural girls you're not gonna like this this would be you going out at night time uh, this is me on a daily basis <laughs> look I've loved makeup since I was a little girl my mum was a glam girl actually I'll put a photo of her here I'll put a couple of photos of her here she I used to watch her putting on her makeup every day now I never saw my mum without makeup she would get up she had we, there's six of us kids and she would get up before all of us put her full face of makeup on and then she would go out get breakfast and everything ready then wake us up and then she'd wear her makeup the whole time until she'd have always had a shower just before she got into bed because she hated having dirty feet going into bed end of the day so as kids we never saw her natural very very rarely maybe when she was sick but otherwise she had full glam every single day so I mean I get it I understand her because I love Love being I love feeling glamorous it makes me feel pretty look don't get me wrong when I'm home and honestly my husband never sees me with makeup because he gets home late <laughs> and I've already had a shower and washed it off so he hardly ever gets to see me looking like this he sees me how I looked at the start of this video <laughs> um, which is fine this is like my go-to everyday makeup and that's how I feel comfortable looking um, but it, it's all about how what makes you feel good you know at the end of the day if you feel comfortable you get up in the morning and you slick your hair back in a bun and your skin looks good and you feel comfortable not wearing makeup I wish I had that life I think because I've had acne most of my life I really am more self-conscious of it so I feel like I have to put it on it's a bit of a mental thing um but look it's all about whatever makes you feel good about yourself you know that is all it is and when I've got makeup on like this it makes me feel pretty it makes me feel nice and I actually really enjoy the process of putting on makeup for me it's it's a relaxing kind of a medit meditative thing to do like I really do enjoy it but let's get rid of these ringlets as you can see it looks a little crazy still but now my hair is really cooled and these curls will last until tomorrow no problem let's flip my head upside down shake it and flip it back little Kmart shorts I'm going to show you these in next I'll show you these in next week's video I've got a cozy haul to show you next week because we are officially in autumn as of this weekend um but it's hot as and thank god summer's not finished yet but what I do is I flick out <laughs> three and then I flip my head <laughs> use my fingers you kind of get it there we go I can use the wide tooth comb and just sort of maybe just fluff the ends out a little bit I even get my little just sort of tease it just slightly because I love big hair honestly my my goal <laughs> especially if I'm going out for dinner or on a date is the look of um the secret what are they called secret angels no what are they called um victoria's secret oh my god you see my brain like clicking over trying to think what it's called that's a that's the age of 49 right there <laughs> um, oh my goodness Victoria's Secret Angels that is what I would that is my dream I want to be looking like I'm strutting down with wings on that is the look that I like to go for <laughs> when I think of glamorous that's what I think of I love the big hair and I love the glam so this is my everyday hair and makeup I hope that you enjoyed that <laughs> it's probably so so long because I've talked the whole way through it but normally honestly I can do this whole thing in like 15 20 minutes done if i'm not talking <laughs> and i thought i'd bring this little munchkin in to say goodbye on my beautiful bed i'm loving my bedroom set it's so gorgeous <laughs> he's a little bit crazy because he can see out the window here and he wants to bark at all the neighbors and of course the neighbor is making noise as per usual isn't he oh hello 
a little bit crazy but you say goodbye all my girlfriends i hope that you enjoyed seeing i'm gonna put him down he's gone crazy i'm losing all my light now too <laughs> Um, I hope that you enjoyed seeing how I got my hair and makeup. I've actually done quite a few things since I did my hair and makeup. So you can see this is my hair after like a couple of hours. It does drop, um, but that's why I need to keep those curls in. And um, otherwise, in a couple of hours, I just go. <laughs> but if you're lucky enough and your hair holds, you can definitely like brush your hair out. But if I did that, I'd have nothing left. But yeah, I really love this makeup and it's my signature look. So I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing how I create it. And definitely next week, I've got a cozy haul for you as well. Because we will, well, we already are officially in autumn, but it's still full on summer. So maybe next week we might start seeing some of the cozy vibes. But I've got lots of things to show you. And I can't wait to meet you next week, next Sunday at 3 o'clock. Please also follow me over on my Instagram, I'm also on TikTok and on Facebook as well. I'll have them all linked in my description box, but just Australian Women's Life and Style is my name across the board, so you can find me anywhere. Although I think on TikTok it's L-I-F style, okay, it's not Life and Style because you can't have that many letters in it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Australian Women's Life and Style pretty much across the board and you can find me on all platforms. Can you hear him? He's going crazy. <laughs> but anyway, I hope that you guys have the best week and I love you guys. Thank you so much for all your kind comments last week. So over the coming weeks, um, I'll do a bit more home content. We'll do some cooking and what else I've got um, and some healthy foods in between as well, but hauls for sure. And I'll definitely take you shopping as well. But anyway, love you guys. Have the best week and I'll see you really soon. Bye. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, Australia. <clears throat> I went, I was like I had my voice was breaking then. Teddy, are you coming in to say hello to everyone? Hello, <laughs> I can hear you. I can hear you. You're saying hello to everybody. Hello, everyone. Hello. Oh. <laughs> um, because it really gets into, um, it really gets into your, what's it called? <laughs> Cheekbone. Yeah, really. <laughs> it is pretty funny, but it does. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I look like. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, my God. Join our family. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Join our waffles. One, two, three. Join, Join our family. family. Please, please like and subscribe.